Hello friends, welcome to another technical video. Today the topic with my video is regarding early stream remission in lightning protection systems. Whether it is acceptable or not as per our rules and regulations. Now the climate is rainy and many lightning accidents are going on. That's why I took this topic for the moment and it is very important now. So kindly watch the video in full and if you are finding it useful, please share with your friends and request you to uh, subscribe my YouTube channel and support me. Okay, let us move to that topic. Okay, so the topic is early streamer emission ESC with a lightning protection system. I have taken two, three references. The first one is our Indian standard ISBAR IEC 62305-2010 and the National Building Code of India 2016. Then on presentation from Dr. Chandima Gomez is a well-known specialist in lightning protection systems. We know the fundamentals of lightning protection. It is having different parts. And uh, anyway, I am not going to those fundamentals. Still, I shall explain some uh, about LPS. The whole LPS, the whole lightning protection can be divided into two, external lightning protection and internal lightning protection. For a building, both should be required. The combined uh, external LPS and internal LPS is called, uh, is called the whole LPS lightning protection system. So, I am not taking to the internal lightning protection. Actually, it is about the equipotential bonding or SPD installing, insulation, etc. To the external LPS, there are three components there. Air termination at the top of the building. Then down conductor uh, uh, from the air terminal. Uh, below that, the down conductor will come. And, in, and finally to the earth, earth termination is there. So the air termination will collect the lightning energy and fed to the down conductor or fed to the earth, earth through the down conductor. So here I am taking the air termination part. What's the purpose of air termination? This will, air termination will intercept the downward lightning leader and safely passing the current to the ground. So this air terminal can be either horizontal conductor, you know about the mesh arrangement. So the air terminal can be either horizontal or it can be a vertical one or the vertical air terminal. So the vertical air terminal, I am taking that one for this topic. So the vertical air terminal can be either a conventional type, a simple uh, copper rod like one. So it can be either uh, uh, simple one or conventional type and it is called Franklin rod. Otherwise it can be early streamer type or ESC type. Uh, actually it is having, uh, ESC early streamer is having a virtual height additionally created. I will explain that later. So there are Franklin rod and ESC rod. Okay, see here uh, uh, for just to understand the basic, I have taken two, three pictures from internet and you see here on the air termination there and uh, the lightning will be collected by the air termination and it is fed to the ground through the uh, down conductor and it will, it will be finally ending uh, uh, the earth and some ring conductor will be there around the building. So here there are three parts mainly the air termination, down conductor and the earth termination. Okay, here you can see to the left side on the external lighting protection means externally to the building and to the right side internal lighting protection means on the SPD, uh, equipotential bonding etc will be there. So let us move to the external lighting protection. You can see here on vertical one, vertical air terminal 
you can see here. So that is what we are targeting today. So for air termination, there are mainly two types of air termination, Franklin or road or conventional type of, uh, air terminal and about and the ESC one, early steamer emission. See here at the left side, just like a simple one, and it is Franklin or conventional type and to the right side on with some horns or some more attractive one, it is called ESC type. See, let us see more about the ESC terminals. See here, all are uh, the uh, ESC terminals I took from internet, you can see the various shapes and it is the most attractive one than the conventional type. Actually, whether it can be accepted, that is the point here. And uh, if you are looking on uh, lightning protection for some official purpose, you please see the air termination and whether it is something look like this, so it will be ESC and otherwise it will be simple one and it is conventional type. Conventional type is simply one just like a copper road or something like that. Okay. Now, uh, I told you about a virtual height. See, actually with a, uh, this uh, ESC terminal, there will be some additional material added just like a radioactive material. So that will be creating some effect. As per their inventors, as per ESC inventors, they are telling that for ESC air termination, some additional height will be created virtually. So let us see here, for two buildings, we are taking uh, uh, conventional type and ESC type. Both are uh, two meter length. So when we come to the uh, ESC site, uh, there will be some additional height created. See here, on yellow color I have shown. So it is the added height or added virtual height. So total height will be more in case of ESC terminal. So what will be the advantage? Uh, the lightning energy will be added earlier to the other one. That is why it is called early streamer emission. Whether it can be accepted, whether this virtual height can be accepted, that is the point here. Let us move to the rules that we are following in India. See, here it is IS bar IEC 62305-2010. Actually, this international standard we implemented in our nation from 2015 onwards. So before that, another standard was the 2309. So from 2015 onwards, we are following the international standard itself. Actually, that we just copied the international standard. No change there. An interesting change is that a comma with the international standard will be changed to, changed to on full stop. That's the difference. So, what is said with your with our uh, international standard or with our Indian standard? See here, the high, please note this highlighted portion. For all types of air terminals, only the real, only the real physical dimensions of the metal air termination system shall be used for the determination of the volume protector means for uh, installing an air termination or vertical air termination there will be some area around this just like a cube some volume will be uh, there protected by the vertical air terminal that volume is called the protected volume so to determine that protected volume it is uh, as per our uh, is it is said that only the real physical dimension is to be taken so what is the impact? Uh, the virtual additional height uh, for the ESC terminal cannot be counted for assessing this protected way. So what's the meaning? We cannot accept that ESC terminal. That's a problem. See, finally, see the last line. Radioactive air terminals are not allowed. So it is clear now. As per this IES, Early streamer emission is not acceptable. That's a problem. 
now let us see national building code of india national as per national building code of india 2016 what is said there radio active air uh, air terminals shall not be allowed any other kind of terminals like dissipation esc air terminal air terminal csc air terminal shall not be accepted so with the national electric code also it is said that esc terminals cannot be accepted actually uh, what is national building code the local laws uh, just like a panchayat building rule and uh, call, uh, municipality building rule etc are based upon this national building code so we when we are constructing a building we should follow national building code as per national building code early steam remission is not accepted so what will be the final effect suppose we are installing an esc terminal and suppose some accident this happen can we get the insurance claim so for the insurance claim the insurance companies are checking whether it is as per our rules that's a problem so it will not be accepted for claim so see here i am comparing these two uh, air terminals to the left side on conventional type and to the right side uh, esc type is used see esc persons are telling that there is no need of this much of uh, vertical air terminal see to the left side uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 air terminals are there but to the other side for the esc terminal only one esc terminal is installed and only one down conductor is there and to the uh, near to the earth on uh, counter will be there that's what is called esc installation what will be the benefit as per their uh, persons the expense will be very low never actually uh, for a building or a house uh, we can do the lightning protection with or with a 20000 or 30000 amount but if you are going to esc uh, it will be around or lakh so never think about that expense is very low in esc time never it is not there esc persons are telling that it is accepted as per french standard nfc 17102 so it is accepted as per nfc or uh, french standard so what can we implement french standard in our india no actually as per this french standard see here in this picture it is copied from french standard and so on esc terminals there and apart from that esc terminal the other portions are actually just like our indian standard the only difference is the esc terminal so if uh, if the person uh, advising esc terminal if they are installing uh, strictly as per french standard it, is, it was okay though not accepted but they are not doing the full work they are simply installing this vertical esc and one down conductor and finally one counter will be there that is what they are doing so though it is i uh, accept as per french standard the method following in our india in our nation is not accepted actually you know for many government uh, agencies they are giving orders for this esc they are not uh, following our uh, our own standards that's a problem here so i have i have a request to the offices or inspectors or electrical inspectors those who are giving permission to the solar installation or high rise buildings please note that if if you are giving permission to the uh, early steam remission what will be the final effect if there is an accident you will be caught you will be the responsible person because you only know that it is not as per our rule so please don't give permission to such installations see another thing i have not yet told you the scientific background whether it is properly working or not about esc for those interested i can give a link to the comment box 
and you can refer to that. There are much interesting scientific explanation is there. Okay, now I am taking an, another example and a, an exceptional case uh, came to me for an inquiry. Actually, for this building, the supply was made off, but during lightning, many equipments just like a fan are burnt there during the lightning. How it is happened? They are asking me. I observed it. See, actually the air terminal is the conventional one, not EC. It is the air terminal there. So then what is the problem? After this air terminal, the earthing is done through a flexible pipe. You see, on earth conductor was there, it is fed through a flexible PVC pipe. And then to the earth also, another PVC pipe is used. And what is the meaning? Though it is a conventional type air terminal, the connections are not done as per our Indian standard. They have copied it from the ESC connection. So, uh, even it is conventional type air terminal, you please do the connections as per our Indian standard itself. There are many incidents known to me uh, in which cases ESC terminals are installed. Anyway, I am concluding my topic. I think the topic was interesting to you and I, I think you got an idea about ESC and I uh, gave only a fundamental idea about ESC and I, have, I was trying to give you uh, whether, it, whether it was accepted, whether it is accepted in our laws. I think uh, you got the um, background behind these uh, rules and you please don't follow this ESC and uh, when you are ordering on uh, air terminal, you please go through their quotation and if you are finding it, uh, early steamer emission or uh, something like a radioactive or something like that, you please don't do it because it is against our Indian rules and regulations. Anyway, I am closing here. Let us see uh, with another video later. Thank you for your patience listening. Thank you. Thank you.